Good morning and welcome to Pomfret Hall at 10 a.m. Right now we are outside of Pomfret Hall and there's a lot of construction going around, but we want to show you what's around Pomfret to get you familiar with the area first. Um, there is a bus system that can take you from Pomfret Hall to campus. And it's going to be right over here. It's kind of hard to see because there's construction Yeah, a lot everywhere. of construction going on right there. Um, yeah. That's why you're wearing the hard hat, as a matter of yes. fact. Construction also ongoing. doing some construction right now as well. Um, and then we have some, there's a big tree that you can see. But up here is going to be like Yoakum Hall and Bruff Commons area, um, the Business College, Kimple Hall. And this is um, Frat Row. It's mm -hmm. just right behind that. Sure. Um, so just to give you a little familiar of the area, and we will. Then it, there's also um, the uh, stadium is very yes, close the to stadium here too. Is, so it's right behind us. Yes, that way over there. Yeah. It's all. This is literally like Stadium Central. Right. So there's going to be the football stadium, the basketball stadiums to our left, the track and field's going to be right over here, along with the gymnasium and the rec center is so close which is nice because we all need to get our work out yeah to the rec center exactly so, so we'll head inside yes we are you're wearing your hard hat thank wearing you for my that. Hard hat because it's under some construction exactly um so right here is going to be the c wing mm -hmm. um however we're not going to go in that today but we're going to show you the b wing which it all has a similar um yeah, kind of a similar layout. You've got C and D. Yeah, so C is going to be right here at the end of the hallway. It's going to be D. And they're both separate buildings, um, but they're both three stories high. Same layout as everything. It's sure. all, all of Pomfret is connected by a big common room. Right. And how many people live in Pomfret? 803, and it's a co-ed building. Big. It's a yes. big it's group of folks. Very big. So you will meet lots of cool people living down here. Yes, you will. And then right here is just going to be our um, office where you can mm -hmm. come and you can, if you have any questions or if you got a bigger package that won't fit in your mailbox, which I'll show you in a second, you'll come here. Um, and they have things behind the desk. You can check out um, like- Ping pong panels. Yeah, for pool tables pool. and stuff like that. Yeah. From the great room. Yeah, so there's a yeah. lot of stuff there. Um, yeah. So we'll head on in. And thanks for joining us, everybody who's watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. We're happy to answer them. All right, and right here is going to be our mail room. Mm -hmm. um, whenever you move in, you'll get an email sent to your UARC email account, which is about to be your life. Um, and it'll tell you what mailbox you are and your code, and you'll share that with your roommate. So you and your roommate will share a mailbox. Okay, okay. Um, we do have some vending machines out here in case you are wanting to get a quick snack. Mm -hmm. um, and then out here to this door, it's just a nice little... A Lounge, green common area there. Outdoor area. Um, has some uh, chairs, but this is going to show you the C wing and the D wing. So they're completely right. separate. So that's C wing right there. D wing's right there. And we're going to go up inside B wing. Yes. As a matter of fact, after we check out some more of these common spaces that you've yeah. got. Get you familiar with the area. Yeah. Anybody who's watching, uh, where are you from that you're coming to uh, live in Palm Frit this uh, fall? All right, and this is our kitchen right here. Yeah, the kitchen, right so on. So if you ever just get tired of dining food, um, just come here, go to Walmart. There's a, so many Walmarts around here. This mm -hmm. is Walmart USA. Um, and you can just come and cook here, and they have all the utensils you need. You just have to check with the person at the desk if you want to use anything. Sure, so you can check out So you can check out anything, and so stuff. you don't have to bring any pots and pans if you plan on cooking. So that's, which okay. is nice because you want to carry as least as you can here. Great, great. Yeah. Hey Angie, Avalon, on Missouri, You're right on. And then uh, nice. Olivia from Columbia, Missouri. So great, glad to have you. All okay. right, let's see what we got here. So we want to be sure we point out, this is the Pomfriteria, as it's called. Uh, you can't, we, we're, we can't go in there right now, but it's, uh, it is a big dining hall. And that's where we, you'll be eating most of your breakfasts. Yes. <laughs> A lot and, of breakfast there yes. and dinner and dinner and with your meal plan you can go to any of the dining halls mm -hmm. on campus there's three dining halls on campus and then at night you can always do meal trade which was my personal favorite mm -hmm. because if you get sick of cafeteria food which sometimes it's really good um you can go to slim chickens past 6 p.m and use a meal swipe to get a chick's plate where did you what was your favorite meal trade place uh, <laughs> 
Papa John's. Papa John's, Papa John's. really, the pizza. Yeah. That did it for I you. I would tell myself, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be healthy. And I went to Papa John's every time. Which uh, dining hall did you go to the most? You lived I in, went can to, you tell where you lived? I went to Yoakum, or mm -hmm. I lived in Yoakum, and I went to Bruff all the time. So, and I had a class in Old Main um, on one day, but I would walk to the Fulbright Dining mm -hmm. Hall, which is over there by the quads and Maple's the opposite side of campus for y'all. And I would go and get their stir fry because it's really good there. So, so things that's to the know. north end of campus, sure. Yes. North end near the Maples. Things to know about so, the dining halls. Yeah. Um, excellent. So we're going to go downstairs and look at the uh, where you do your laundry, I believe. Yes. So now what are you studying, Molly? I am studying advertising and public relations, which is a journalism degree. Yeah. And I have a marketing minor. Okay. How's that going for you? It's going good. Yeah? You I should. It? I'm technically class of 2020, mm -hmm. but I am taking so many hours, I'm now class of 2019. Okay, right on. Yeah. So, so let's just uh, talk about the laundry here. So this is going to be our laundry room. I know the bubbles are super cute. <laughs> um, so you're going to have all your washers right here. You're going to have an ice machine as well. Ice machine's nice. Um, and then your uh, dryers are going to be right over here. And there is a sink in the back, just mm -hmm. in case you ever needed something. Some of you prefer to hand wash. Um, and there, this is going to be for like... Hand wash your delicates. Hand you wash go. delicates, yeah. You, you can fold your clothes right here. And I would sit here and watch my laundry. And I would, it was the best time for me to do my homework. Nice. Um, but however, if you don't want to send, you don't want to watch your laundry, we do have a laundry alert system where you can scan these little QR codes that are going to be on the washers and the dryers. And it's going to tell you when it's done. Um, and then it can tell you if there's any free open ones. It's gonna tell you what's occupied. So it's a really good system to use, mm -hmm. especially if you don't wanna sit down here and if you have somewhere else to be. Yeah, as I recall, you can, um, you can, you can get notifications on your cell. Yes. Like they'll send you a text message whenever yeah, one of them's You can get a text message and you can also open access or when it yours is online. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you can just check from your computer even and see, or your phone even, mm -hmm. see which one is open at the time. And it tells you up here above, I know y'all are so confused right now, but it tells you all the instructions up above mm -hmm. and there's an, there's a sign over here which tells you Put how to do it right. on your phone and online. Yeah. So. Well, uh, Shanna from Plano, thank you for tuning in. And Drew from uh, Talala, Oklahoma. Nice. I hope I didn't, I hope I said that name right. Or is it Tahlequah? Oh, it wasn't Tahlequah, so it's Tala. Tala. Oh, okay. I probably said it wrong. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so let's continue to walk around. We're going to see, um, now that we've seen the mail system and the laundry system and the kitchens, yes. we're going to look at the great room. Yeah. Which there is, is, is yeah. some construction right here, mm -hmm. but I did want to point out that down here there's going to be like a little study hall, study room that you can go to. Um, if you have a bunch of great projects, it's super good. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go up. To the great room, which is literally the great room because this just has everything. This is new furniture that's coming in that we're putting in. And these these chairs are like the coolest thing ever. Don't buy a new chair when you move in. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, so this is the big great room. This is where you can go to lounge, do anything. Um, I love the natural lighting that's in here. There's also some classrooms over here. Most likely your classrooms won't be here. But if they are, there's some classrooms. There's also a music room for all you artistic people. There's a piano inside there. You can always shut the door if you want to do your own personal practicing. We'll poke our, we'll poke our head in there. Yeah. And then this is the, the dining hall uh, okay. kind of overlook, if you will. Yeah. Looks over the great room. Um, actually, most of the construction that they're doing here is kind of behind the scenes stuff, um, upgrading some water systems, things like that. It'll make it more comfortable, but it's nothing major that you'll see. So this is going to be your music room. It has some mm -hmm. chairs and of course a piano, piano. that I wish I knew how to play. Yeah, do you play any instruments? I played I play clarinet in middle school. Clarinet. I did right recorder on. in elementary school. <laughs> a recorder. <laughs> yes, I think I may have played a little recorder myself. Yeah. So there's the music room. The music room and then right next to the music room mm -hmm. is going to be the TV room. So it's really dark in here. It's good to take naps. Um, but it's going to have all these chairs set up and there's a big flat screen TV. There's some DVDs out here that you can watch. I highly suggest Slumdog Millionaire or Mulan. <laughs> it's 
Okay, okay. okay. Which one was that? Mulan, Mulan. yes. Mulan. That's the best Disney music in it. Uh -huh. And then there's also, there's a Wii in here, and you can connect Rock Band. Because know how fun that is to connect Rock Band to it. And there's also some board games. Sure. So, and these are your fun. spaces, you know, as you're yeah. coming in as freshman. This is your spaces to explore, to use in any way you want. So this is your room. It's always nice to, like, take a break from studying, go with your friends, like, go play a board game, mm -hmm. apples to apples, just to relax. Are you good at apples to apples? You don't even know. <laughs> I, my family, all we do for fun is we play board games. Oh, really? We're your typical, like, average American family. <laughs> so, and this is going to be the resident director rooms. Uh -huh. um, you can just always go to them if you ever needed anything. Sure. So we'll take a moment to explain. Uh, you'll have a coordinator for residence education, mm -hmm. also known as a CRE, who will be an adult staff member who will live here in the hall, and they'll always be available to you. And then you'll have residence assistants who will live on the floors with you and also be a resource for you when you have any questions or issues. Um, Monica asked, are the, are, the, are the halls getting new desk chairs? And I think there might be some, but in general, no. Yeah, it's going to be those desk chairs that we did show. Um, they're plastic, mm -hmm. I know, but they also do, you can take the chair off of the, yeah. or the spinning, I don't know, the wheels, that's where the wheels are, and it can actually be a little rocker. So I'm so. thinking, I wonder if those, let me check and see and find out about that, Monica, whether those are going in the residence hall rooms or whether they're going to be in the common areas. Yeah, and I honestly just put a pillow down and it's, it's fine. I personally like to study in my room. Some people don't like to study in their room, so it just kind of depends. Sure. Hey, welcome to the University of Arkansas, says behind you. Oh, welcome okay. to the day. Um, and then also we've got here a uh, ping pong table, and that's uh, air hockey, I do believe. Yes, air hockey, ping pong, pool, and shuffleboard. 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 What's so, your shuffleboard game like? Is it pretty tight? Pretty good? It's fun. I yeah? Mean, you just have to make sure the board's all cleaned off. Right. I, just, I was using my, I put my hands on it earlier and it got some black stuff, but that's going to be your shuffleboard. And any of the equipment, I mean, the pool balls are right there mm -hmm. and there's the sticks over here, but most of the equipment that you use, you're going to have to check out from that front desk that we showed you at the very beginning of this video. Uh, Deja asks, will we see a B-Wing room today? And yes, we will. Yes. We're, we're going, gonna... in fact, right now up into the B-Wing. Yes. There's the sign for it to say B-Wing. So our residence halls, again, are in B-Wing, C-Wing, and D-Wing. We're in kind of the central area, or sometimes what's called mm -hmm. A-Wing. All right. And this is going to be some recycling. Yeah. Please take advantage of that. Recycling. you got another entrance here, so if you're in B-Wing, you might just end up using this entrance. Yes. And this entrance actually leads right to the, where the bus stop is. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to just to go up there, and you can just hop onto the bus, which will take you to the center of campus. Yes, and then we have another entrance right there, as a matter of fact. So you'll probably come in from the uh, the north or the east. Some nice All trophies. Right. Trophy tray. Trophy, trophy case there. <laughs> And then we'll go down here. So Monica asks, can anyone hang out in here? Or is it only students who live in Pomfret? And the way we answer that is certainly we invite visitors to come in and that sort of thing. But you're going to need someone who has access to the FOB system in order to bring them in. But you can bring them in as a guest. Sure. We want you to bring people in as a guest. I did it all the time. Yeah. No, all thank the you. time. So we're headed upstairs now to room to floor two. Now again, excuse the construction. This will all be gone by the time that you arrive. And yes, there are elevators as you can see. Yes, there are plenty of elevators. Try to walk the stairs, get your exercise. That's what I always tell people. I was on the eighth floor and sometimes I actually did that. Wow. It was horrible. And, you know, Pomfret's at the bottom of the hill that leads up to the center of campus. And a lot of people either take the uh, bus or they will um, walk. They walk up the eliminator, as it's called. <laughs> oh gosh! The stairs. That keep your keep your legs very strong. Yeah, talk about some nice legs. Yeah. All right. Um, so we are at B two hundred three, right here. Yes. Actually, let's look at the bathroom first. Yes, we'll go to the. Yeah. Bathroom. We'll go to the women's or the men's. So this floor can be half male, half female. Just so you know. Oh, it was right here. I was like, I thought I said bathroom on top. I'm yep, so, so we're going into the bathroom real quick to just show you what the bathrooms yes. look like in Palm Frit. Okay, so you'll walk in and it connects on both sides. Mm -hmm. 
And then to this side is going to be our bathrooms. Um, there's five sinks right here, five stalls. Um, and then over here to our left. Mm -hmm. So typical bathroom on typical the side. Typical bathroom, yes. Over here to our left is going to be some showers. Um, and you'll have a little changing station right here. Then you'll have the actual shower right here, which is kind of small. There you go, but you're in there. You're going to All right. get used to it. Yeah. So it's not that bad. But it has a, has, a, has a back area here where you shower. Then, of course, you have this yeah. other area where you could, where you're alone, you can sit. Yeah. I mean, it's not that bad at all. You don't, you don't <laughs> need a big shower. Um, this one is a little bit bigger. It's going to be for handicap. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see that. Excellent. And all the other ones are just like the first one we showed you. Drew asks, how often does the bus run? How often does the bus campus run? And I believe it's around every 15 or 30. Yeah. But you should definitely go to parking.uark.edu and they can tell you exactly what the bus schedule is. And they'll tell you where the bus is too. And you can even see where the bus is. If you go to campusmaps.uark.edu, you can follow in real time where the bus is. All right, and back to the room. Yeah, so here we are. I'm sorry. Room, what was it again? 203. 203. Okay. Yes. So this is going to be your typical conference dorm room. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a little different sometimes. Give them a pan here. Um, panorama. Yeah. So you have a nice uh, dresser over here where you can hang clothes. Um, you have a bed that's next to the wall. You have two desks with two chairs. Um, they also have some drawers in there, and then you have the other bed against the wall, which definitely take that bed. Mm -hmm. And then you have a vanity right here with some more drawers. So there's a lot of space in here. you got to use every inch of it. A lot definitely. of closet space right there. A lot of closet space. That was the best thing. I was too scared that my clothes wasn't going to fit, and they all did. Just shocking. Right. So. So uh, we've been asked to show an in room by Allison. And we will do that. Well, let's yeah. go ahead and um, see if there's any questions about dimensions here in this room. Yes, I have a tape measure. Allison, we will get to your question shortly because we will go to an end room. We have one here on the second floor. Olivia asks, are there no bookshelves on top of the desks anymore? And it looks like... Not in this room. Mm -hmm. In your other rooms there are, we can go and just give you a quick little view. Yeah, we can make a dip into um, that. But yeah, there's, there, you can't move them. Everything else you can move in here, the bed, the desk, the desk and bed, oh gosh, and the chair, mm -hmm. but there are two bookshelves up here that you cannot move. Sure. So. Uh, Kaylin asks, are the beds twin or twin XL? Twin. I think these are, yeah, they're twins. The length on them is going to be, I believe, either 80 or 70. 74. 74, okay, right around there. Okay, you can always check um, uh, housing.uart.edu and also see the uh, dimensions. That should be 36. 36, yeah. Okay, so 74 by 36 mm -hmm. is that bed. And I believe they're all that same size. Yeah, what I mean, color? There, you could get twin XL sheets if that's what you're worried about. If you wanted to, it's not gonna make a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, Emily asked what color is the wall, and I would say it is a- Beige. Uh, be be very beige. Beige, beige and tan. It looks kind of weird because the sunlight's coming yeah. in. But yeah, it's just plain beige. Uh, neutral, very neutral bed. Very. And there, there are two plugins right here. Um, mm -hmm. There's a plugin on by the vanity, and I think that's all. Um, Ashley asks, "What is the height and width of the window? So the width of the ledge from yes. the blind to the edge?" Or some curtains, I'm assuming. Yeah. Let's see. Let's hope I don't run out of tape measure. <laughs> that happened before, yeah. Uh, it is going to be oh, oh, oh. 113. So 113 is the uh, length, and then the height would be how much? Let's see if I can get this sturdy. Uh, 63. 63, okay. Um, so another question that came in is, um, can the bed, Drew asked, can the bed be set up as a loft, a pie? And yes, it can. Yes. It can be lofted. Just put a maintenance request in before you go. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, put in a maintenance request in the which, you. which you can do by going to uh, housing.uark.edu. 
www.edu.edu, then forward slash fixit, F-I-X-I-T, and just request that it be uh, lofted for you. Otherwise, you can do it yourselves. Just we recommend that you bring a, um, a rubber mallet if you're going to do it that way. Um, Carla asks, uh, is there cable? And yes, there is. Yes, that's going to be right here. We have a little cable box where you can connect it to, um, and then a cord to plug in. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that it's there. And they will also give you a remote they will. when you move in. That's something that's not here right now, but you'll have a remote also that you can use to connect it with. And uh, Carla, I'll say that there's a presentation we have on our YouTube channel that's about Prep Your Tech. And it explains a little more depth about what's there. Basically, you have all the HBOs, so that's a good thing. It's digital cable. Um, and we're going to do another one, another Prep Your Tech uh, coming up. You can check movein.uark.edu to see the full listing yeah. of all the live streams. Yeah, thank you for that question. Um, and then Michelle asks, how high can the bed be set up? I'm trying to remember how high <laughs> these things loft to. It's like 70-something inches. Let me follow uh, back and make sure I uh, do that. Thank you. Um, and then Lynn asks, how is lighting the rooms? Do they need to bring a desk lamp? I brought a desk lamp, but I honestly did not use it um, because I always, we always had our windows open. But just be careful for whenever it's, it's hot outside. Sometimes the heat can really get to it. Yeah. But honestly, I wouldn't think that you need a desk lamp. And if you did, however, think that you needed one, that would be something that I would buy once you're here, once you've been kind of studying for So a there's lot. the light right there, and it's, it, you know, it's pretty yeah. ample, it's pretty the industrial. Only, the only thing I may suggest to bring something extra of would be a fan, because I know I get hot really easily, so I just had an extra fan. Okay. Um, Carl asked, can you mount the TV? Um, I believe you, well, it'd be hard to find a mount right there to do. Yeah. So probably not. To mount the TV. We just we just put our TV right here. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then I had a fridge, and I lofted my bed as high as I could, and I put my fridge or my microwave underneath it. So, and there are requirements for fridges and microwaves, but just go to the housing website to see what they are. Mm -hmm. It'll be on the individual dorm page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Olivia asks, can you measure the shelves above the closet? So. Let's this. go ahead and give them both those shelves. The length is generally... Forty-six. Forty-six inches is the length. Yes. And then the um, height of that first one. Ten, nine. Oh, I'm sorry? Nine. Nine inches. And then, yeah. the, can you do the top one? Uh, can you make it? I don't wanna, we don't want a worker's uh, comp here. About 16 and a half. 16 there you go, half. Olivia. Uh, Monica asks, can you laugh, loft the bed halfway and not all the way up? Yes, you can. Yes, you can loft it however far up that you want. So let's show them the heads. grooves. You have these grooves that you can use and you can do it at multiple different configurations. So really you can set it to whatever level you really like. Some people set it up high so they have more space underneath. But Yeah, that's what I did. And I brought some like extra like George from Walmart too. Mm -hmm. I'm a girl. I have way too much stuff. So... I locked in my bed, so I, I already told you off with my fridge and my microwave. I had an extra drawer that I had underneath my bed, and I, I have asthma, so I had, had a mic humidifier, so. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, uh, we asked about the width of the closet. I think we just, didn't we just get that? What was that? Do you remember? The width? Oh, I don't remember. I don't, 40 something? 40 I think it was 40. Okay, this is easier. 46. 46, okay, so 46 inches on that. Um, Ashley asked, what size carpet could fit the length and width under bed for a runner carpet to when your bed is lofted? So why don't we just get a, um, let's give them this one right here, this dimension. So you have to hold that. Oh, from one bed post to the other bed post, it's 48 and a half. 48 and a half inches between the two bed posts. And those are pushed pretty flush against the wall. So. Yeah, they're all the way to where they can go. Yeah. I had a carpet in my room. It was nice. Um, Alice, what's the best way to attach a headboard on the wall or using the bed posts? I had a headboard and I used a bed post. If you go on Pinterest, you can actually learn how to make it out of cardboard. Oh yeah? Um, and you can just shove it, however you make it, um, and you can shove it on this part. I wouldn't suggest putting it against the wall 
as just putting it on the bedpost. Right. Mm -hmm. As far as putting things on the wall, I mean, <clears throat> you're not allowed to like do damage to the wall to put anything on there, but you can use, I believe, the command strips and that sort of thing to attach things. Okay. And the, if you just wanted a bed post just for a headboard, it's two and a, two and one fourth by two and one fourth. It's a square. Okay. okay. So in case you were trying to figure out for a bed. Uh, Taylor said, I've seen people put curtains in their closet. Are you able to do this in your room? Yes, I did that. Um, I let me measure from top down. Mm -hmm. So I just use you use like a little shower rod mm -hmm. and you put a curtain on over me. Oh, this is not going to work out. Okay. It is 91 to the ground. 91. So somewhere just under 91 if you want curtains that go from the top to the bottom. Yeah, and I put my rod about right here. Okay, so that's so about I did a little bit shorter. Five or six inches shy of the. Yeah. Um, Ashley, um, asking what the width of the shelf is again. If you don't mind, this will actually be on archive, so you can go back and look at that and, and get that measurement. 46. 46, okay. Mm -hmm. Do all the rooms, uh, Sarah asked, do all the rooms have wooden floors or are they some, are some tile floors? No. Some are tile floors. So yes. Why don't we go ahead and walk over there yeah. and look at one of them that's a tile floor with, I think, the top. And the, the furniture is kind of missed, not in place where it's supposed to be. So. Okay. Just some random bed. Sure, sure, sure. But, um, so, so this, this would be tile be floor. Mm -hmm. This is more of your typical palm print dorm room. So you're going to have this thing behind mm -hmm. um, where you could hang pictures on. And then these are the shelves that we were talking about. Right. You can't move these. You can't move this desk. You can only move the beds, which you probably would not do. And what we found is that students almost always prefer movable furniture. So we kind of transitioned to much more mm -hmm. movable furniture because you guys... You want to customize the, customize the space to what you want. Yeah, and this dorm was built back in 1967. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of old, but super homey. Don't really yeah. like it. What room are we in? 204. 204, okay, we're in 204. Um, let me answer, Michelle, Michelle, we are in room 204 on floor two of Palm Frit B Wing. Um, can you give, okay, Drew's asking about, can you give the height and width of the wall shelves? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. 29 and one fourth. Mm hmm. What's it gonna do? I still kept it in place. Kept it in place? 80. By 80. Okay, so what were those measurements? Something by 80? <laughs> I gotcha. 29 and one fourth by 80. 29 and one fourth by 80. Mm -hmm. um, Ashley, we are moving towards movable furniture in all of them. So no, they don't all have it yet, but some do. Yes. Um, you're welcome to call um, housing as well. And uh, the phone number's on our website. I don't have it right in front of me. And ask about your specific room. Um, and if you were, I forgot who asked about the desk clamp. Mm -hmm. But there are lights underneath this kind of furniture. So you really do not need a desk clamp. So that's what I would just use if this big main light wasn't on. If I wasn't using a window, I would just use this light right here. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Let me go ahead and give the rest of you here. Yeah. So this is also the other side of what you might have in your hall, in your room. Um, there's a question from Olivia. Can you measure from the top of the bulletin board by the window yes. to the top of the bed post? She wants to do some decoration there. Um, it's going to be almost at 24. It's like, oh gosh, it's so the, not quite 34. So the sign, okay. okay. 23 and 3 fourths a little bit past that. 23 and 3 fourths from the top of the bulletin board to the, bottom. To the top of the uh, bed post, right? No, that's from the bulletin board to the bulletin okay. board. Depending on how you loft your bed, yeah. it's going to determine this. But if it's just on the normal loft, which it will be on move-in day, Thirty-nine and a half. Okay, okay great. All right. Um, Christy asks, are all rooms the same size, or some rooms slightly larger or smaller? I think the corner room may be just slightly, slightly, slightly larger, but in general, they're all the same, and yeah. that's and that's throughout the entire like B wing, C wing, D wing. Yes. 
Becky asks, how many floors in each wing? Oof, um, this one has eight floors, okay. and then the C and D wing have three floors. Wow. Look at you with the knowledge. Learning all my stuff. Dropping it on us. This okay. is actually my first time in Pomp Fret. <laughs> in fact. Uh, Drew asks, about how about the height and width of each drawer? Um, they're all basically the same. Maybe we got one big one, and then the rest are kind of the same. So... Gonna be 27 and one fourth, and it's gonna be by let's do it from that corner to that corner 15 and one fourth. So 15 is the width of all of them, and then each one is what the height of each one. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I'm super good. I know, but each one 27 and one fourth. Each, each drawer, I think, is what you Oh, each drawer, yeah, which I think those two are about the same. So the first six drawer. And one fourth. First drawer is six and one fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second drawer is it six and one fourth as well? Yeah, it sh that one should be the same. It's okay. just the bottom one that should be different. Okay. Yeah, six and one fourth, and this bottom drawer, which is where I put all of my textbooks. If I, can. I wonder if you have to open the top drawer to get to the bottom drawer. Oh, it's oh no, okay. open for the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Eleven and one fourth. Eleven and one fourth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Carla, I would advise you to call housing and ask them so they can tell you if your daughter's room has movable furniture or stationary yes. furniture. Um, Aaron asks about what is the best size rug to get for the room. I mean, what are the standard sizes? 8 by 11, 8 by 7? Yeah, 6 by 9. 6 by 9. What do you think? Do you have a recommendation? 6 by 9, yeah. Yeah. Like runner, because then you can put it next to your bed. Yeah, I yeah. put mine in between the two beds. And like, at the end of the year, we were like, why did we get a carpet? <laughs> Still need a carpet, but yeah, but a six by nine would cover yeah. you quite nicely. It was just um, it just stains moving everything out because you're like, do I really need this? So Becky asked the size of the window if we hang a curtain. I think we measured didn't we yes, measure the window we earlier? That, okay, yeah. so if you could just look back. <coughs> excuse me, the window uh, was measured earlier, and mm -hmm. uh, take those measurements. You know, if not, hit us up on the at the end, and we'll uh, try to get the information for you. And there's also on the University Housing's website, housing.uark.edu, there's also all of the room dimensions on there. Mm -hmm. So in case like you don't want to go back to the video or you just want to go somewhere quick, that's where you could go, and you can click on the individual dorm room. Mm-hmm. Uh, Megan, will you be doing this for all the residence halls, Maple Hill West? We will yes. be doing it for all of the residence halls. Uh, we're going to do the Maples together. I think we'll be in Maple Hill Next East. Week. Yeah. I think. Uh, I think we're using that as the sample. Okay, so I, we promised someone we look at a, at a corner room. Mm -hmm. And let's go take a look at that. Erin, yes, you are able to bunk the beds. We call it lofting. No, no, bunking, you couldn't bunk them. But you can loft them. And that means they'll go up to, I don't know, I think That's 74 inches. I can check to make sure what that height is. But yes, you can loft them. So this is 208. Okay. Conference hall. So this, I mean, this is gonna be kind of your corner room. Mm -hmm. It's kind of difficult to say, because there's one more room right here that's the actual corner, but this is the back part. So this is gonna be the room that's bigger, and you can already tell it's completely different. None of the furniture is movable except for the bed, which you probably would not move. Um, and it does have a ledge on each end, and it has some different drawers and stuff like that. So. Yeah, and we've got all this cabinetry. So that cabinetry is all fixed. Yeah. Okay, and Allison asked, could we measure the windows in this room? And sure, yeah. we can measure. I think it's the, there's two windows. They're the same exact dimensions. Uh, this is the, yes, Amy, this is the room at the end of the hallway. Up, up. Thank you, taking the sure. <laughs> 59. 59 is the height. 60 is the height. So you'd want to yeah, probably, 60. yeah. Yeah, 60. Okay. The length. It's going to be right at 50. 50. So uh, don't we go with width and then length? So 50 by 60? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Allison asks, uh, could you also measure the space? Uh, the desk and the closet. So, yes. Allison, what, what, what specifically uh, would you like for us to measure about the desk and the closet? Kind of which dimensions? 24 and 1 half. 
four and one fourth. Uh -huh. By forty and one half. A twenty-one and four by four by forty and one half. Yes. Okay. Um, and Taylor asked, uh, okay, the space between those. So I think we're looking at the the kind of the two pieces, if you will. Between these two. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Twenty-one and a half. Okay. Twenty-one and a half is the distance between those two. Mm -hmm. um, Taylor asked, D wing does not have an elevator, right? I'm not sure Don't offhand. So. Okay, I can verify that to make sure. Yeah. So I'm going to check on the loft heights and also whether D Wing has an elevator. Um, so I'll do one final sweep through here. Any, any last questions as we sign off for our tour of Pomfret? We're super excited about you coming in the fall. Yeah, you're going to have a great time here. Just make sure to get involved and, of course, go to class. Work hard for your parents. Go to class, huh? Go to class. Okay. I know it's a struggle sometimes. You think you can do 8 a.m.s, but they're really hard once you get here. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, Hannah asked, what are, the, what are the wires behind the bed? And I think it's these wires right here. Yes, that's going to be for your TV and internet. Yeah, that's the cable and um, internet for these, for these particular ones. And um, this one, I'm not sure, this one may not be visible whenever you arrive. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what that one is. Oh, that's Ethernet, it looks like. Um, let's see. So, um, a couple more questions. Allison asks, yeah. can you hang stuff on the outside of the door using command strips? Yes, you can. Okay. Um, I would be careful. Sometimes there's mean people and they can steal them. But that's always something you just got to risk if you want to do it. Um, and your RAs will have your names on the outside of the door when you get here, which is super cute. You'll learn it's, the name. You'll learn the term dorm yeah, deck, right? Dorm deck. Yeah. Um, and then it has a little people right here, but you could do a command strip if you were to hang something for, let's say, Halloween or Christmas. And you can definitely do that. You can put a whiteboard up here if you want to. So I hung something. Me and my roommate, we made a sign um, because we're both in sorority, so we made a sign based off of that. So. Uh, Carl asked about, so if there's not an elevator, that means we have to carry everything up the stairs and move in. And if D doesn't have an elevator, which I'm going to check to make sure, then uh, yes, that would be the case. Uh, now, we do recommend you bring a dolly. We do have some limited dollies here as well, but that's going to help you to move everything in. Um, Kimberly asked, can you hang shelves on the wall? I think with command strips, you can do anything that command strips let you do. Yeah, if it, if it lets you hang, I will say it's a little difficult putting command strips on the wall. Just because it's this uh, weird, I don't know, what do you call that material? Cinder block. Cinder block. Mm. It just, sometimes I command strips just fall. Yeah. So. Uh, Christy said, which side of the room is A, which is B? The truth of the matter, A and B are designations that you and your yeah. roommate will agree on whenever you get here. It um, doesn't matter. It can be either one. It's really just to say there are two different yeah. beds. If you're living in a traditional um, pot print room, which is not this room, I would take the one that's by the wall and not the one but that's by the window because the window's going to wake you up in the morning and the wall is nice and cold. Okay. It's just where I lived. Smart <laughs> smart advice from someone who's smart been there. Smart advice from someone who's done this last okay. year. Well, we're going to go ahead and sign off, everybody. Thank you very much for participating and listening. And uh, feel free to leave, leave additional comments below. and We'll try to get to them yeah. as soon as we can. But uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you all. Have a good day. You wave us out. See you later. <laughs>